is an exciting day indeed. Today is October 31st. It is lockdown day two. Uh, day 16 of incubation. The temperature is you know, right there between 99 and 100, so 99.5 up and down. Humidity looks like it's been holding 69%. Um, I've disconnected this now that it's leveled out a little bit. I just have it running here though, next to the vent holes, um, which are open there. Uh, as soon as this hits 99, the light will click on and we will be able to see. Today is such an exciting day. I got news from my wife while I was at work that at about five, between five and six or so this evening, we had our first hatching. And so it was in the red side, the Myshire side. And so I will denote that on the paper. All right, so today is the day 16 of incubation. I know for sure there's one hatching, and so we will mark that as soon as this light comes. I think it would be neat to put a window in the top of here, maybe a small one at some point. Uh, that's an idea. Anyways, we will confirm hatching, and then I am gonna start tomorrow about 9 p.m. again. Um, if one has hatched, that will be, give it a 30 hour time in here before he is removed. Um, I'm gonna put the Myshire eggs in the, put them in the brooder that I built. I'm gonna do that because the game, uh, Southwest game birds or the game bird flock is uh, all jumbos and they're a little larger and so I think they'll fit in this one a little bit better. Uh, so my wife and my son, I guess, named the little chick they saw, Jonah. <laughs> And so they tell me, oh, it's hard. This window's really dirty and then the humidity's high, so it's hard to see. That's why I think I'd like to put one in the top. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show, but I can see the egg in the very far corner over there that is cracked. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Not gonna, not gonna show it too well. But it is cracked. Oh, and there is the baby. Yes. Our first baby quail. He's kind of flopping around on the eggs. There's so many of them in there. Oh no! I hope he doesn't get stuck. <laughs> He's gonna be stuck between them for a day. There's just so many in there. Alright, we'll leave him alone. Actually, maybe we'll see him a little bit better. Yes, he is up. Look at that! You can see him back there. He's hanging out over by his hatched egg. He doesn't like the light, so... How oh, cool. Right, so as soon as the temp drops down and that light comes on again off camera, I'm going to take a little bit better look just to confirm. But I do believe when well, there's one my shark quail that has popped out for sure. Um, I don't plan on doing as many eggs in the incubator or in the lockdown box as I did this time at a time. Um, and so there'll be a little more room for them to move around. I do feel concerned that he's climbing around on the eggs and uh, that does bother me. But I do know that he will die if I take him out right away and so I need to leave him in there for at least a day. Um, so hopefully some more will hatch in that time and it'll free up a little bit of room in there. Um, but how exciting. All right. And so we're going to do a little bit of, uh, of this work just so I can keep track. So I got my Shire flock. Today is day... Uh, we, we didn't have any, that was the first day, day 15. Today is day 16, and I know I got one Shire flock uh, hatched out. I will change that if so, if need be. My wife said it hatched between 5 and 6, so we're just going to put 6 p.m., and that's the 24-hour start, so it would stop on um, November 1st at 6 p.m. I won't be home till about 9. So that's actually going to be a, a 27 hour incubation, I guess, to be right. And these are going to go into the brooder number one. Uh, that's going to be the one I built. We'll, we'll go ahead and designate that one and the other one, brooder two. Um, and so we got that down. Notes. Uh, first baby quail ever. All right, I will uh, make sure that nothing has hatched out of our game birds, but I didn't see anything, so I'll, I'll confirm that for sure, but uh, it's a number of hatchings. We'll just go ahead and put zero on that one. All right, well, how exciting. 
thanks for joining yeah, me. I'm like extremely excited. You know, finally the the uh, this part of my adventure or our family's adventure and more um, self reliance and self sufficiency uh, gets to begin uh, in with the quail. And so that is an extremely exciting thing. If you've joined and watched us through the process of getting the eggs and hatching them out, um, continue to watch because it's just getting exciting now. Um, and I'll continue to film the progress um, all the way up through getting them outside and how they do in the winter and all those things. If you have any specific questions or anyone has any videos they'd like to see, go ahead and leave that in the comments and, and I'll make a video on that. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. And today there is a second exciting announcement.